told uh, some sister will come complain to him, and the imam will say to the brother, Akhi, I want to see you after Fajr. Yep. The brother he ain't coming. Tell him, mind your business. He'll say, mind your business, not your business. You're just the imam of the masjid. Don't tell me what to do. And in some masjids, the imam, he ain't want to be like that. I know one brother, physically. He was good brother. And mashallah, a student of knowledge. And he was exercising this issue of jama'ah. And some sisters came complaining about their husband. And he ordered the brother to come. And the brother refused. He said, if you don't come, wallahi, we will advise the sister without you. And he did not come. So the sheikh, he called three or four brothers. He listened to the sister. He advised the sister. He told the sister, go and stay with your family. Don't go back to him. Until he comes to us, go stay with your family. If you don't have any Muslim family, you come live with one of our families and we will give you the protection until he comes. And if he doesn't come after three months, we divorce you. Don't worry. He doesn't come, we will pronounce it. Because he has no right to do what he's doing. That next Jum'ah, the brother, he came, that husband, he came to the mosque. He pulled the Imam down from the member by his beard, the brother he had long beard, like the sheikh. He pulled him down from his member, he come down and said, you troublemaker, you get involved with my wife, who you think you are, he pulled him down from the member and threw him down the steps in New York. I remember that day very well, that Jahil brother. And because he, the brother, he was a big brother, the other people who was praying behind the imam, they could not do anything. They said, Aki, what you doing? They threw the imam down the steps. So, I'm giving you that to show that we Muslims, we don't we really want the Imam to be the Amir. And we don't want no Amir. And nobody here wants to call himself Amir. We're afraid of this name, this word. We think he will be like he's he become tyrant. He will tell us to do something we don't want to do. So we leave it alone. And we have somebody called Board of Trustees. President, chairman, and the board of trustees, they choose imam. If the imam, he says something they don't like, they kick him out and get another one. I don't say this is what happens here. Don't, 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 don't get uh, mad at me. I didn't say that. I'm just telling you, brothers, look, I've been all over the United States. I'm born here. I've been in all 50 states, okay, all 50 states, and probably three or four states in every state. And I know before Isna, became ISNA, it was MSA. I was in the first conference with Ahmed, uh, 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 Ahmed Tutunji and, uh, and, and Ahmed Sakar before they graduated from the university, so I know them very well. And from that time until now, the Muslims is playing this, the, this game. They don't want to choose any Amir because they are afraid that the Amir will exercise too much power. So they want to use him as a castrated eunuch. So what can a castrated eunuch do? He cannot have babies. So why are you getting him married? He cannot have no children. So why do you choose somebody and you know he has no power? Because you don't want him to have any power. And because of that, Allah he punishing us over and over and over through our children. So the children is not listening to the parents anymore because the parents, they ain't listening to the Amir. So Allah, he curse you through your children because you curse your leaders. This issue of jama'ah, it has to be brought back to life. Of course, it has to be brought back to life with practical uh, impl uh, implementation. We don't just give, the, we don't go to this. No, we sit together. We call the people of the best knowledge. Our chef who's leading the prayers with us. Another chef, Chef Bayayuni, there in uh, Raleigh, right? We know the chef, uh, Mohammed, uh, Chef Mohammed Said Adli, mashallah, in, uh, in South Carolina. I'm just calling some whom I know very well. We call them together and say, Chef, what about, let's have a conference on the Jama'ah. Let's have a conference on bringing back the, the, the idea of Jama'ah among the Muslims without no fear. Of course, we have to do it within the context of the country, isn't it? We're not going to call the Amir the Khalifa. 
We are not going to try to do that because now you're going to bring some other conflict issues. But we want in every community to be someone who has the final determination in every decision. And it is not the board of trust, it's not the chairman or the president or the whatever. Unless you want to change the name chairman to Amir. I mean, I don't care. If the, if the president of the society, if he wants to change his name to Amir, it's all right. Give it to him. As long as you don't give it to her. Because we don't have Amira in Islam. We don't have that. We don't have the Sorry sisters. We don't have Imama and Amira. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. Why? Because the women, they have more powerful job. They're the ones who give birth to the Amir. They're the ones who rock them in the cradle and give them the, uh, give the manners and raise them up. So Allah gave them more powerful responsibility. They're the ones who raise them up. They're the ones who nurture them. They're the ones who drink and feed and give them the manners and all of that until they get to the position of responsibility. There's no job bigger than that. So Allah gave them that. May Allah reward them and keep that, be satisfied with that. But we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bring us back as Muslims to this idea of the jama'ah and not to be afraid of it. So what did Umar al-Khattab, he continued, he said no Islam without jama'ah and no jama'ah without what? Amir. Amir. And no, uh, no Amir illa bi ta'a. Illa bi ta'a. Where's ta'a mean? Obedience. Huh? Obedience. So well, you ain't choosing nobody as the Amir, you ain't going to obey him. Oh, I, you, we choose you as the Amir, but we, we, you know, but not in this area. Don't be bothering us about our money. Don't be talking about our marriage. Don't be involving about our children. Don't be talking about where we work and how we earn our money. Don't get involved with that. You just the Amir inside the masjid. No, 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 brothers. This is some foolishness coming from the culture and the mentality and the weakness and the corruption of the Muslims. And the, and the Prophet said, none of you truly believe until you subordinate your hawa to what I have brought. La yu'minu ahadukum hajjah yakunu hawa'u taba'an lima jih to be. So we have to subordinate our hawa to what the Prophet has brought. What did he bring? Quran and Sunnah. So it is the jama'ah. It is following an amir. And it's a developmental process. It is not something overnight. It's a developmental process. Like cooking, you know, making a cake. It's not like shaking bait and put it in the oven, boom, 30 seconds later you get the cake. Now that's just, that's in 21st century. There's a Steven Spielberg. <laughs> no, you must, you must, uh, you know, you must sh get the eggs and uh, mix it. And to put the stuff, the sisters they know, you understand know I me, and put the milk in there and the right ingredients and all that and beat it up and heat preheat the oven, all of that there, and then put it inside and watch it and check it and then get the right and bring it out and let it cool process. The jama'ah must develop like that. Under the guidance of whom? The people who have the best knowledge. And brothers, don't think that some doctor or some engineer who got a PhDDD and got some money and they come together and buy a building, don't ever think that they have the premise to raise a community. They cannot. They cannot. They have the premise to support a community. They have the premise to nominate someone. They have the premise uh, to, to speak and promote. They have that premise and they have that right. And Allah will cause them, Allah will ask them for what they had. But to cultivate a community, they have to have the knowledge. And knowledge in Islam is not abstract. It ain't like we don't know who knows. Come on, brothers. Ain't like we don't know. You know, we don't know who knows. No, we know who knows. Knowledge in Islam is like money. You can, you can find out who got it by just simply going into the bank account and you can see. Knowledge is like that in Islam. And among the companions of the Prophet Islam, knowledge was not nebulous. Knowledge was known. Why Ibn Abbas, why the Prophet